All right. I'll wait a few moments. Wait a few moments for people to show up. Okay. So, this happens if you get sometimes too much moisture and stuff like that. You get some aphids. So, you'll see material like this. This is like them shedding their skin. What we can do, we're going to take a couple leaves off. It happens. Okay. I got ladybugs I had ordered. This is the Primo Tally. I was the first one to release this one as a vendor. came from Chris Fowler. These are on my website now. These are on the website. Oops, I almost broke that. I get a bunch of... You look at all the flowers. Hello, everybody. Look at all those flowers. See all those little tails? Ooh, this plant got bad. I sprayed it. Um, I've been dealing with other things. Orders and contests and my mom's health and stuff like that. So things got hectic. I ordered the ladybugs and they took, I swear to God, like a month to get here. This is bad. So, what can I do? How can I help the general public on information? It's basic. I'm not that concerned because I have a line of defense. I could use praying mantises. They take about five to 10 days to hatch in 80 degree constant uh, temperature. Can't really do that. Can't really do that because of, uh, uh, when do I have consistent 80 degrees? Not all the time. Um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of messages here as standard. That's just normal wear and tear of business. Uh, this plant looks pretty good other than that. So what I'm doing, ladybugs. Colder environments like Pennsylvania, Ohio, New York, uh, Michigan, uh, Washington State. The list goes on. Um, I suggest ladybugs. Down south, you could do ladybugs, praying mantises, or lace wigs. Um, praying mantises, I think, can eat like 250 aphids per one. Each of these ladybugs that on their diet can eat up to 50 aphids during a lifespan, I believe what it is. So I got these. Just go online if you want ladybugs, everything. Sorry about all the dogs barking. That's standard over here when I'm trying to do an instructional video, but whatever. Um, so the plant's looking good other than that. Look at all the flowers. This happens, and believe it or not, I know you guys are going to... And I didn't care too much. These are prima tallies. I have a plethora, there's my favorite word again, a plethora of seeds of these, okay? So, ladybugs, this will do the trick. I should have got a tripod for this. This is kind of like spur of the moment. I actually forgot I had ladybugs. No joke. So, these are good for the environment and everything. So, here we go. They can crawl it naturally. Whatever they want to do. Give me a second here. Oh, yeah. I'll just go ahead and put it on this plant. They'll find their way. I'll leave this package here. Ooh, they're even on the phone. There you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna close this off right away. You know, it's probably not a bad idea. Put a little bit of water with them to feed them. Very good. And uh they will be happy, extremely happy. Another reason why isolation helps. It'll help contain them. Right now, they're happy to get out of that small ass package. 
So if I didn't have this isolated, some of these would fly away. So they're in there. This is their home temporarily. When everything's gone, I will uh, release. You can see them flying around. See, that one would have escaped. That one, that one. And uh, so, checking out the new home. They're probably hungry. Guaranteed. So. This, don't, there's so many in there. I think there might be 3,000. So, they will take care of everything. Yeah, they're crawling on me. That's it. I want to do a quick video on that. So, let's see. There's other methods. You could use uh, dish, dish soap. Uh, like Dove. For some reason, I think it's Dove. And you spray one squirt in a bottle. And... Uh, You spray on top of the leaves, underneath them, the stems and the soil. Also, the soil can actually get eggs inside the soil, and they, they might hatch. So you might have to do a second round, maybe a quick spray. Um, that's why I would say inspect your plants. I ordered these like a month ago. I don't know. Shipping for various departments got slow and it got delayed so what can i do you know i figured you know what let the course be its course so that's what it is um all right uh, uh chuck af says making ahi char pizza a hot seller against again yes i have approximately 30 40 of those plants they are massive producers. That should be enough seeds for two years. So, I mean, hey, I just want to make a quick video. I can come back. Uh, today was beyond insanity. Um, I fell asleep in the middle of the day. Things got hectic as normal, but more hectic than normal. So, sorry about all the barking. Um, but... All right, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take off uh, isolated seeds. I am protecting the pepper community by doing this, um, and I'll make more instructional videos here shortly. I will be doing reviews. I'll try to get some guest stars in here, and uh, also one last comment: if you want best looking peppers. Don't grow your plants six inches tall and expect the best shapes. A lot of plants grow three, uh, three and a half to six foot. And you guys want best results on very little method. Um, also, map your grow. People mix up their grow and then they go back crazy and want my attention. I don't always have the attention to give. Not with the magnitude that I'm doing this season. So, you know, map out your grow. Make it easy. Um, do your math. You know, if I sell you 100 seeds and I had to replace your order for some reason because you gave me a wrong address or something and you want max customer service all day long, not going to happen. Straight up, not I'm telling you, not going to happen. You, you got to map out your grow. You got to be responsible growers yourself. So those were some of the issues that popped up this past week. I figured I'd address them shortly in a professional manner. Map out your grow. You know, um, everything grows true here. I'm preserving the pepper community by isolation. Uh, I want to get into more instructional videos. Uh, Borderline Pepper says, 
can only agree the real phoenix come usually higher up. I'm not exactly sure what you mean, but um, you gotta you gotta have good, healthy, mature plants. Okay. All right. I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Please share. Also, uh, I got a day or two left on that contest on follow my growth or follow my progress. Um, if you guys need the link, I can give it to you. In fact, I'll go ahead and I'll drop that after this video. So, all right. You're all welcome.